Hey Jeff, thank you. Thefts of catalytic converters are going up. In Kansas City alone, there's a five-fold increase from just a couple of years ago in that particular crime. So frustrating when you walk out and this has happened to your car. So now we're taking this story 360, hearing from multiple perspectives to give you the most complete story. KSHB 41 News reporter Ryan Takeo shows us what can be done to curb these thefts. <laughs> There are stories of give and take. This is a story of take. I was very upset. And take. The majority of the catalytic converters thefts are done in under a minute. And take some more. Leaving car owners with a big bill and an ear-splitting sound. Thieves are taking advantage and taking catalytic converters at an alarming rate. When comparing the most recent KCPD numbers, over the first five months of 2020, there were 189 cat converter thefts. During that same time period this year, there were five times as many thefts. We're taking this story 360, hearing from victims, a KCPD sergeant investigating the crimes, an auto shop doing the repair, a salvage yard manager who chooses not to sell converters, and a scrap dealer who buys converters. Three days a week we have fresh fruit, fruit cups. It's easy to see Sheila Gilbert's giving nature. We gave away macaroni and cheese today. The nonprofit she runs gives free lunches to children in St. Joseph. She even delivers the lunches to the kids if needed. A lot of them don't have transportation. But during a recent trip, thieves took a catalytic converter from her van while it was parked near KCI Airport. I cried all the way home. My car, my vehicle sounded like a hot rod. That van we're driving in is now fixed after a $1,700 bill where she paid a $1,000 deductible. But then thieves struck again. This time they took the converter from her other van. That's the one you might mistake for a dragster. Literally two cuts, one on each end. Sergeant Don Jones is with KCPD's Property Crimes Unit, and she's busy. The numbers really just show how much of an increase we've seen over the last three years. Sergeant Jones says the thieves steal the exhaust emission control device so they can sell it. The metals used in the converters include platinum, rhodium, and palladium. And these thefts can happen in under a minute. Sergeant Jones points to this recent local example. It started while the sun was out, which she says actually happens in about half of their cases. They kind of roll up, they get between the cars roll under and uh, they're in and out of there pretty quick. Sergeant Jones says there's a new Missouri state statute. It's now a felony if someone steals a converter off a vehicle or if someone has three or more converters without the right paperwork. These cases will take time to put together um, and I feel the pain of the victims. This right here is an aftermarket converter. Tom Hadley Pilot. is in this story for two reasons. He runs All-American Auto in Raytown. We've been doing it for 20 plus years. And he's a target. It just hurts. So it just, it, it just hurts. Thieves try to take advantage of his customers' cars left at his shop on the weekends. He's made adjustments. All right. I just fill up the shop. I mean, I put them in the front. I try to make the deterrence as much as I possibly can. Then there's this. They call this the cat clamp. It's supposed to deter catalytic converter thefts. You can't cut that with a sawzall. That device will cost you anywhere from two to four hundred bucks. That's still cheaper than fixing it after the fact. Thank you. Nine forty three thirty seven. And that's the cheap end. That's the cheaper end of it. At All American Auto, they are unfortunately used to that fixing process. The sparks flying and reconnecting the replacement parts. That's what I'm talking about. You have your oxygen sensors that go in there. Alan Paul is with All Star Auto Parts. Paul buys cars for parts. Many of those cars fill up this salvage yard. We are in the warehouse where we tear vehicles down. If you want to see what's in demand, just look at what's under lock and key. It's the precious metal like rhodium, palladium that are inside of them that are worth the big money. Paul says his shop doesn't sell converters. I just had a guy in today who wanted to buy a converter and I said, it's against the law, I can't sell it. It's illegal because it won't meet emission standards. It's not necessarily to deter theft. Paul says here they let the converters pile up, then they ship them out of state. We send it straight to a manufacturer. Manufacturer that, that they cut it, 
cut it and uh, take all the precious metals out of it. 1411 East 19th Street, Kansas City, Missouri. Sandy Levine is owner at KC Iron and Metal Company. The scrap dealing company buys catalytic converters. But in Kansas City, Missouri, Levine says there are strict rules that sellers need to follow. When they come in, they have to have the title to the car that the converter came off of. If the potential customer sold the car for scrap, they need that bill of sale too. The neighborhood council keeps tabs on the process. We have to keep paperwork for every converter we buy. Levine is frustrated because the ordinance only impacts Kansas City, Missouri, and neighboring communities have not adopted those same rules. He says that consistency is needed. They are not under these same ordinances. So if they buy, like for example, catalytic converters, they don't have to report them the same way we do. Levine points to manufacturers who he thinks should set up a database. So there's a numbering system on these converters that could be attached to the title and the VIN number of the vehicle that they're, set, that they're putting it on. You'd have a lot better tracking device to be able to catch these things. So those are the takes, the opinions of what can be done. How we can give car owners a chance to make sure the precious piece under their vehicles isn't taken. Ryan Takeo, KSHB 41 News. So fast and such a big cost for drivers. $1,700 bill. Do you have a thought about this or a topic you'd like us to go 360 on? Email us at 360 at KSHB.com and follow KSHB 41 on social media to join the conversation.